What's going on, guys? It's Intense Throws, and in this video, I'll be ranking all of Thunderbolt's elements. And I got this idea from Mr. Roller Coaster, so his link to his YouTube channel will be down below and his Instagram, so make sure to go check him out. And welcome to all the new subs. Thank you for the support, and you know, I'm just gonna keep making content for you guys and keep going. But it, and also, this video is kind of late because if you don't follow me on Instagram, Make sure to go down below in the description and make sure to go follow me on Instagram where you will see many updates. And many of you know if you follow me on Instagram that, you know, I had ups and downs with this trip. So I'm trying to get that figured out. But you guys keep, you know, helping me out with the support and getting me through. So I appreciate that. And, you know, I'm just going to keep making content, like I said. And other, other than less, let's get straight into the video. At number seven, we have the vertical loop. Um, To be honest, this element... It didn't really do much for me. It did have some decent hang time in the front and back, but it was nothing serious. And I did found, I did find this element to be tame in the front and back. So this is why I ranked this element at number seven. At number six, we have the zero G roll. This element has some strong force, but it was low because of the jerkiness entering and exit out of this element. In the front and back, it does get rough and jerky once you enter and exit this element. And you can't really get the feel for this element, but it does rank, you know, a little bit higher because due to the fact of its force. But I can't put it any higher due to its jerkiness, but it's still a great element. Element I was looking towards too on this ride was the overbanked curve. But this element ended up being underwhelming for me. Because in the front, it really doesn't do much. But in the back, you do get some decent floater air time. But it really doesn't do much. And it really didn't have like a serious force to it. So it really wasn't that surprising. And, you know, it really wasn't that great. Number four, we have the quartz screw. It is a small compact element that really packs a punch. It has good hang time, but not one of the strongest elements on this ride. But trust me, do not underestimate this element. It's still a really good element, but not one of the strongest on this ride. Moving on to the top three elements. At number three, we have the Camelback Hills. These Camelback Hills does give some decent ejected air time. And what surprised me the most that in the back, the front, it gave decent, but in the back, you get sustained ejected air time. But the thing is that I love sustained ejected air time, but it's there's more elements on this ride that surprise me the most. But definitely do not overlook these Camelback Hills and definitely get a backward ride because this thing gives some great sustained ejected air time. Number two, this surprised me the most. It was the drop. And the thing about the drop is that you get a great pop of ejected air time. And it has some good forces, but the back is definitely where it is if you want to get the full experience of the drop. But when I got a back row ride, I really started to really, really started to appreciate the drop and found it more, more forceful than every other element on this ride except for the number one spot. And trust me, do not overlook this drop. This is one of the greatest drops I ever experienced and is definitely up there and I like this drop a lot. Number one we have the dive loop and this really surprised me because this twist and snappiness is just amazing into the dive loop and the exit is where it really is like it's so forceful that it throws you into your restraints with some good forces and it's definitely one of the most powerful elements on this ride, and you can never go wrong. That's going to do it for the video. I know this is a short video, but this is it for me wrapping up Thunderbolts elements from best to worst. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I do. Thunder, I love Thunderbolt. But if remember, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button, like, and turn on post notification buttons to get, you know, to get notified when I drop more content. And if you're new, like always, stay tuned.